So it's almost been a month since I last posted on YouTube. Let me tell you why. City of mine, how I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. City of mine, how I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. Yeah. How's it going, everybody? Thank you for coming back to the channel. My name is David Aguilar, or you may know me as Ariel Austin. And like I said, it's been a while since I last posted on this channel, and it's for a really, really good reason. But before I get into that, if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do. That's where I'm most active. I post there about two to three times a day, uh, whether it's stories, reels, actual posts, IGTV stuff. Um, I'm very, very active on Instagram. So if you don't follow me there, please do Ariel Austin underscore. Now that we're done with that, let me catch you up on what's been going on. So as most of you may know, we're about to have our first baby. And this is so extremely exciting and at the same time, extremely terrifying. It is Wednesday, April 14th, the day after our two year anniversary. And positive. So I'm just waiting for David to get home. Um, he knows I've been late, so this isn't necessarily a surprise, but we both just kind of weren't expecting this. So let's see his reaction to being a daddy. Guess Ooh. what? What? I'm pregnant. No way. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. No, you're not. Yes, I am. What? Uh-huh. You're really pregnant. Like, this isn't a prank. No. <laughs> Crazy, huh? <laughs> so, today we're getting the ultrasound. And we just got back from Brownsville after having our first baby shower. Okay, we are Brownsville bound, heading over for our baby shower. With our tacos. But first we need some tacos. From La Traila number four. Ooh, that's spicy. <laughs> Oh, no. Nobody's oh, one second. 
Budweiser. Ooh, I'm sorry, whoever gets the Budweiser. Mm -hmm. Bring them off. Get all the fun. Cheers. 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 Okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it's not butter bucket. <laughs> yep. There's like there's like four of them in the refrigerator, and every single one is a different thing. Yeah. yeah. It's not butter. Yeah. There's some jalapenos. Some of them are beans. Mm -hmm. Some of them are rice. rice. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's, you don't know what it is. For real. You're like literally. I can't believe it's not butter because it's, it's rice. Not. <laughs> <laughs> Go to my grandma's house tonight. Thank you so much, everyone. This is amazing. It's so loud. I know. Well, Very loud. yeah. Thank you so much. This is crazy. So we had a blast in Brownsville in the baby shower. Um, it's so exciting seeing my mom plan everything and do everything. Uh, her and Alyssa are the ones who kind of put everything together with this and worked on the theme about Winnie the Pooh and all that kind of stuff. So it was really good just being back at home. I only get to go to Brownsville about four to five times a year. And so it's always good to go back and just be with family, not be on my phone so much, disengage, laugh, and just enjoy everybody around me. Um, and then we got back from Brownsville and we've been busy shooting episodes with my homie, Matt, or you may know him as Smoke Game Strong. What's going down? It's Matt with Smoke Game Strong. Today, we got another episode of the Smoke Show. We're here at Interstellar Barbecue. All right, the Smoke Show is on the road today, baby. We're going right around the corner to Valentina's and get the best breakfast taco in the world. We're here at Throw and Smoke Festival, man. Today, we got wings on the Weber. So we're here at Treaty Oak with uh, Elias Vidal. Now with him, we've been doing this smoke show series where we go around often and we eat different types of barbecue and we go to different types of barbecue joints. And that's what we've also been working on is just developing this show about barbecue in Texas. So if you have not followed Matt on his channel, go ahead and do that. Smoke Game Strong. Um, it's so cool just being able to open up my palate to all these different flavors. Uh, we've gone to Interstellar Barbecue, we've gone to Brotherton's Barbecue, we've gone to Valentina's and had breakfast tacos. Like, we're going all over the place. And then at the same time, we'll create recipes or we'll film things at Matt's house and he would just be cooking on the chud box or whatever it be. So if you don't follow Matt yet, please do. That's another project that I'm working on that I'm a part of. Another reason why I haven't been posting as much because I'm doing a lot of editing for other people, for other channels. And so when it comes to me having time to make things for myself, I usually spend it with Alyssa, especially now that she's seven months pregnant. It's like not so easy to move around and lift things and do things. So rather than working on things for myself or content for myself, I love to spend it helping my wife and, and doing things around the house or just spending time with her. You know what I mean? Uh, it's it's going to be the last time that it's just her and I together as a couple. And uh, now that we're welcoming our child into this world. So um, doing the smoke show has been so much fun. Like I said, just opening up my palate to barbecue. I, I know being from Texas, you're supposed to be a barbecue fan, but I never really was. You know, I've always been a tacos, pizza and burger kind of guy. So Matt, you know, filming these shows with Matt and, and going out to these places is definitely making me someone who appreciates barbecue way more than I ever thought I would. Not only that, we also partnered with a company out in Georgetown called Good Folks. And it's a restaurant that's about to open up in Georgetown, Texas. And they hired Meek Monster Media to help run their social media and just uh, build them a great social media presence. So if you do not follow them, go ahead and follow Good Folks out in Georgetown. Uh, we're about to open the restaurant and man, the transformation has been amazing. Like seeing where, where it came from and what it looked like before to what it is now, it is phenomenal. So they hired Meek Monster to help run their social media and that's what we do. We do social media marketing, brand building. Uh, that's kind of what we've been doing more of now. But not only that, they also asked if Defibrillator Coffee um, if you guys don't know, I'm also a coffee roaster. I do my own home roasting. 
And so they wanted Defibrillator Coffee to be a part of good folks and to be the coffee they sell. So I've also had to be roasting a lot more. So if I'm not shooting, if I'm not editing, I am roasting coffee um, and spending time with my wife, with Nikita and Salem, because you know the pets always need some love too. Um, so it's just been so crazy the last few weeks that I've just forgotten to even really edit footage that I have from the baby shower or whatever it is. It just seems like we've just hit the ground running and it's been growing and growing both businesses, the coffee and the media. Um, which brings me to my final point. Um, we really want to start doing daily vlogs. Um, now that, that the baby is about to be here and we've got more things going on, I really feel like daily vlogs is a great way to not just get me to produce content, but also to remember the time that's going on now. You know, to remember uh, our, our child being born, to remember our child growing up, to remember our businesses growing. You know, uh, I look back at some of my older videos uh, when I first started being a photographer, and I remember just thinking to myself, okay, one day I'll be able to say that I got there. And at the present time, I still don't feel like that, but I definitely feel a lot closer than I did before. Um, I never thought I would be a professional photographer. I never thought I'd be a professional roaster, even though I was and I roasted for big companies. Uh, just starting my own companies has been something that has really uh, pushed me and my wife to not just be better creators, but better people. We really want to set an example to people of what it looks like to be a couple who runs their own businesses, you know, who works together every single day and who manages uh, these two businesses. And you know, like I said in the beginning, I thought it was a far-fetched idea. Um, but now as people started hiring us um, and just getting more attention from whether it's YouTube or Instagram, I'm beginning to realize that this is truly my passion. This is truly my calling. Uh, I love being able to teach about photography or just teach about creativity. So I know I've said this before on, on my Instagram and other stuff like that, but uh, we are planning on daily vlogs. If not daily, we want to do at least three a week, uh, whether it's being out at Good Folks, shooting with uh, Matt on the Smoke Show videos, whether it's things about being parents, whether it's things about starting the company, running the company, the coffee side of things. Um, I just feel like there's so many things going on that the way that I don't forget this is by filming it, by capturing it. And that's one thing I've always loved about being a photographer and a videographer. Uh, people hire me to tell their stories. People hire me to tell what's been going on throughout the narrative of their business or of their life. And so now it's kind of fun because I get to do it for myself. I get to say right in front of the camera to everybody there, you know, what's been going on, how I feel about things. And I hope that some of you learn uh, something from this, whether it's uh, photography things, video things, whether it's business stuff whether it's family things. Um, I just want to be a source of not just positivity, but also information and being someone who allows uh, my transparency and whatever it be to help you guys grow in your businesses, in your creativity, or whatever it is that you like or do. So with all that being said, hopefully in the next few weeks, uh, I want to do maybe in the next week, I want to start, like I said, putting out uh, three vlogs a week. Um, so let me know what you guys think about that. Um, I'm really, really excited to create more. Like I said, it's great when I get to create for other people, um, but that's their vision, you know, that's, that's their goals. And I'm someone who loves to help. So I love helping people reach their goals. Um, but now that I see the channel growing, a lot of you guys are commenting more. A lot of people have followed me on Instagram more. Um, I'm beginning to realize like, hey, you know, I can do this. Um, whatever this is, being an influencer, content creator, a creative, I don't know what you want to call it. I just know that being in front of the camera and being able to engage with you guys is probably one of the most funnest parts of my day. So stay tuned and I will see you in the next video. Peace out. City of mine, how I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. City of mine.